What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of My Hero Academia Season 5 Episode 4 or Episode... Ooh, what would this be? 90 or 91? I can't get... I'm not keeping track. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, the, 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 the last time so Shinzo's back! I love Shinzo. And he used his new gear from the support class. You guys helped me out with that last time. Um, anyway, and I think that that thing is just so awesome because it's, it's all about catching that person off guard. I mean, once they know the trick, they'll be kind of more aware of it. But again, like when you're in a fight, it's kind of your first, your first thought's not going to go to, oh, is that really my partner's voice or is it him playing a trick on me? I mean, maybe once you're aware of it, you'll be more cautious about it, I guess, but Still, like, if you're, like, in an actual fight with, like, a villain, or whatever, let's, well, actually, fight with another hero, because you'd be using that against a villain, you're, it's, you're not, you're not gonna be ready for that shit, you're just not, not fully, never, oh, I just love it, it's so, ugh. He found a way to make his quirk, I can't, I don't want to say, like, more useful, I mean, it's, I bet it is more useful, but, like, What's, there's a different thing I'm feeling. Um, I don't want to say more hero-like, but... Because he was so concerned about it, like, coming off like a villain. Like, oh, no, oh, that's the perfect quirk for someone to become a villain. Like, a perfect villain quirk. But you found a way to make it work for a hero. And, I don't know, I'm just proud of him. I can't wait to see what he does. I hope he shows these hero class students what's up. Just show them that... You belong here, and you're, you're, you can be just as good as them. I don't know if he's there yet. They've had a lot more time to train, but he could get there. He can get there. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, because I'm so excited, I need to shut up so I can start watching it. So, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, whew, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. So fucking proud of you, Shinzo. You did amazing. You d He's come so far. He's trained so hard for this. And like he keeps saying, I know I'm still dozens of steps behind you guys. But he won't quit. And he doesn't let it keep him from trying. He doesn't let it control him. Or hold him back, and that's that's what I love because that's the complete opposite of me. I let my fear hold me back from trying, or going out and I don't know, just chase. Yeah, just trying anything really that I want to. <sighs> but he doesn't. He I said that weird. He doesn't, and it's just like it's just it makes me smile. I can't help it. I just can't help it. I love seeing someone chase their dreams. And then, like, you know, it's just so nice to see how he was in season two. Going from thinking he had no chance, it, it was never going to be a possibility, to somehow, I don't know if it was Midoriya that changed his mind, or him and Aizawa, but, like, I'm assuming maybe he approached Aizawa and said, hey, I, I want to try this, I just want to give this a go. Can you train me? Like, can we just see what could happen? You know, you never know unless you try. So... And he's, he's doing it, man. Look at him. Look how far he's come. Like, he's he's trying out right now. Like, this... And he's doing well. Like, okay, yeah. He couldn't do everything on his own. But none of them could have won that on their own. In Team A or B. So... But I like how everyone in their teams, like... You mostly saw it from Team A, not really Team B. But they broke down where each of them screwed up. But they didn't try to place blame on each other. Like, they just... They, they really tried to make each other feel better about it. Like, oh, don't feel bad. Oh, Kaminari saying, oh, you know what, dude? You said you don't want to be friendly, but I really like you. Sue saying, you say you're not strong enough, Shinso, or that you're not good enough, but you're actually really strong. And then he has to answer, with, well, I'm not that good. You know, I gotta get better. <laughs> well, he wasn't like that, but you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm just... Oh, God, because that's totally something I would say. That's ex the exact way I would respond. No, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm really not. No, stop. But she, 
I'm just so, I'm so happy that Sue and Kaminari are, and even Hiroshima, he goes, oh, you're unbeatable, bro. Like, <laughs> yes, build him up, build him up, don't break him down. Like, I love how supportive they're all being. Oh, that was the best team he could have been on. And well, even if he was on Midoriya and Ochako's team, he probably would have been okay, but not Bakugo's. No, not Bakugo's at all. He's still got, he's a little rough around the edges. I don't know if Shinzo would be affected by that, but I just want to see him be around some people who are going to, like, accept him and, I don't know, boost his confidence and let him know, like, hey, don't be so in your head and, like, so self-defeating. Like, I know he keeps saying, yeah, 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 I got a long way to go, but it almost seems, like, I know he's just trying to be honest, but at the same time, I just don't want him to take it so far as, like, where... You're just being really negative and, like, hard on yourself. Like, hey, like, give yourself some credit. When you do something great to help your team or whatever, it doesn't have to be just in team-related incidents, but, like, if you do something worth accolades, just say, yeah, dude, I'm, I fucking did it. I was awesome. You're right. Like, I really did pull through for us. I really did. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say, like, he, I just want him to give himself a pat on the back every now and then, because I think that's important too, not too much, but you shouldn't always get, like, the positive feedback from other people, you need to be positive for your, towards yourself, I don't know if you guys get, get what I'm saying, but, yeah, I don't know if, I might be just saying too much, but I'm just, I'm just so proud, I love seeing great teamwork too, like, they really worked together well, both teams, both teams did. And what's crazy about that is, like, they just met Shinso, yet they still worked pretty well with him. And I like how they, they really, the key here is, especially in teamwork, communication is key. And if your communication is broken down, you're gonna fail. You can't work individually. And, like, what Shinso did is he got into their heads where they felt like they couldn't trust what they were hearing anymore and if you're if you were not going to listen to your teammates and you're kind of just doing your own thing look what happened you guys got taken out i love it his quirk is so useful not just for yeah brainwashing people but something i didn't see is foresee coming is he can ruin and break down the trust within a, a team and that that's, that's, that's your key to winning, bro. Like I just said, that's your key to winning. That doesn't just work with heroes either, like villains too. So I'm just so hyped. I want to see him in a situation now where he is going up against villains. And because I, I know that there is going to be at least one villain who's going to say, dude, you want to be a hero with that quirk? Like you should be a villain. Like th you could get anything that you wanted. Okay, well, you know what I want is I want to take down people like you. People who think that a quirk like this should be used to just get whatever you want. <laughs> I love seeing some. I feel like something like that's going to happen. Eventually. And then that might get in his head for a second. Because that's what he's had to get past in his past. You know, people always saying things like that to him. But then he might have a friend there. Or might be by himself. But I'm hoping Midoriya might be there to say, hey. Don't listen to him, Shinso. You're a hero. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I can't help it, dude. Oh. Underdog stories, right? <sighs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, what else do I want to say? Finding out um, about Sue's quirk. I mean, they might have actually shown that in season one. I don't know. But it kind of looked like they did. But the mucus, that using that to ruin his senses where he couldn't he could tell that it smelled like her but he couldn't so it just seemed like three sues so i like how they kind of use that to their advantage like hey they, they know they'll know where we are at all times but they won't know who is where so that's how we can get them because obviously kaminari was who they were most afraid of he had like the most um destructive quirk i guess you could say or the most powerful he was like their um their powerhouse on their team but at the same time, her vines kind of rendered him almost useless. So, 
I like how they were just like, okay, well, fuck it. Let's just let them think they got him. Like, go ahead. And then what do they do? They get her brainwashed. Sue wraps her up, takes her out of there. Because that was like their big ace in the hole, her. And then now we just got to worry about the beast and scale, dude. Like the dragon guy. Fuck. I wanted to see more of his quirk. I think there's more to it than, than just hardened scales and like being able to shoot his scales and harden them like a shell. There's got to be more to it than that. I wonder if he can, like, transform into a dragon. That'd be sick. I mean, you know, there's that one hero we saw season four. I forgot her name already, but she looked dope. But anyway. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I keep saying the same things over and over again, but that, that plan just really came together well. Like, they, they were, this is why I'm proud of them, because they were losing, right? But at the same time, they didn't let it keep them down. They sat there, they analyzed all of the information, like everything that happened, where we messed up, where, now, okay, so now we know where we screwed up. How are we going to do better? Where are we going to go from here? How can we win? And they probably listened to each other. Like, they, they didn't dismiss anyone's ideas and that, perfect. Fucking perfect. They, I like the fact that they were able to, like, pick themselves back up or like not let them not let that kind of setback hold them back from trying to win like they, they just kept going and at the same time they came up with a plan like super quickly like they're getting better at being able to think on their feet like in the heat of the battle and that is just seeing them improve in those subtle ways is just everything to me dude i love it 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 okay i don't know what else to say so i should shut up but let me see let me make sure there's no after credit scene i don't think so i think this is outro okay yeah all right okay um yeah all right remember to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video and if you guys want full reactions you can catch that on my patreon other than that i'm gonna get out of here guys and i'll catch you in the next reaction